Forget gold, gold rush, star Parker Schnabel came across an archaeologist's dream during his search for buried riches out there. The reality star revealed the strangest thing he's ever dug up while mining for gold. And it turns out, Schnabel found a preserved set of woolly mammoth tusks. The animal has been extinct for thousands of years. But people still find preserved remains and fossils of the majestic creature to remember it by. In an interview with the Molestrum, the long-running Gold Rush star discussed his mining experience. Schnabel became a young self-made millionaire by mining for gold. But he also embraced his inner archaeologist along the way. We've found some mammoth tusks, which was really cool, Schnabel told the outlet. They're preserved because they're ivory and they were buried in the permafrost so the weather doesn't really get to them. Some of those came out in beautiful shape. Mining sometimes uncovers things you wouldn't expect. Traces of our ancient past are hidden in the soil and sediment. Fossils help reveal history about things long past. Woolly mammoths began going extinct 14,000 and 10,000 years ago. But a small group survived as recently as 4,000 years ago. Fortunately, Schnabel has an appreciation for his history as well. The Gold Rush star said he kept the fossilized tusks rather than sell them. He thought they were too cool to pass up. I usually keep them. You're allowed to sell them, you just need a couple of permits to export them out of the territory, but I think they're so cool I had to keep them, he said. Gold Rush star on Korea. Gold Rush star Park Schnabel got involved in the business at an early age. In fact, he was just 15 years old when started working with his grandfather. Fast forward and he's one of the leading figures in the mining industry. You know, it wasn't too difficult because I did really enjoy it, the Gold Rush star said, and in the early years I had a lot of fun doing the show and learning how to mine. It was a struggle, but it was also fun. Schnabel has learned to roll with the punches over the years. Take 2020 for instance. Schnabel turned what felt like a cursed year into a win. Though he initially struggled, Schnabel and his crew stayed at it, netting more than $9 million. They hauled 7,400 ounces of gold, more than 400 what Schnabel initially forecast for the year. This season started out as one of the worst seasons we've ever had and ended up the absolute best, Schnabel told his team. And everyone one of you guys had something to do with that, and I thank you all for that. Sometimes we need an escape from our own career fields. As much as many of us love what we do for a living, it's always fascinating to peek into the depths of another industry. End the gold rush. The Discovery Channel's Erba popular series about a group of miners digging for gold in the Klondike area of Dawson City, Yukon, Canada. Perhaps it's the channel's biggest series purely due to public curiosity about what the modern day mining industry looks like. It's not just pickaxes and prayers, people. Innovative gold miners Rick Ness, Fred Dodge, Roger Schnabel, and Parker Schnabel are the central cast of the hit docuseries, which has been on since 2010 and spawned several spiefs. Gold Rush succeeds in showing the less glamorous aspects of the mining industry, as well as its inherent dangers, new technologies, and oodles of drama. What mining records has Gold Rush star Parker Schnabel broken? Though 27-year-old Parker Schnabel is among the youngest of the bunch, Starting his mining career as a mere naive high schooler taken under his experienced grandfather's wing, he's also one of the most successful. Parker and his own crew broke several records by the time 2022 rolled around. In the midst of the series' ninth season, circa 2018, the gifted Parker, who earned his own spin-off, Gold Rush, Parker's Trail, and his equally talented peeps broke the single season record. After a less than ideal start, the crew ended the season with over 7,400 ounces of gold, which amounted to a pretty $8.5 million, Palupa. 
It turned out that $8.5 million was the just the tip of the gold-plated iceberg. Just one season later, Parker's most prosperous hole weighed in at $10.8 million. And though it was record-breaking in terms of Muola, it failed to break the 7,400-ounce record. That Parker, boy is he a go-getter, always trying to outdo his prior accomplishments. During Gold Rush's 11th season, despite the hardships and delays brought on by the never-ending COVID-19 pandemic, Parker dug up an astounding 7,500 ounces of gold, which came out to equal, drum roll, please, a whopping $14 million. Ultimately, both records were smashed, which caused for a beer-filled celebration. There's a block of ground for sale in Alaska right now that I'm really interested in, but I love what we've got going on here and don't want to sideline that at all. In terms of what's next, to everybody that's here now, your spots open next year, he warmly told his crew in the midst of celebrating. I hope you're all here, and here's to many more, he continued, raising his bottle. While the no-nonsense minor may come off as somewhat callous at times, Parker's steady strive to improve and follow in his grandfather's footsteps is inspirational, and it clearly rubs off on his crew. This wasn't intended to be a Parker-focused story, but his achievements refused to be ignored. Though the Discovery Channel's hit mining dock as his gold rush boasts several burly men, including Rick Ness, Fred Dodge, and Roger Schnabel, it's 27-year-old miner Parker Schnabel who continues to intrigue audiences. Is it because he's one of the youngest miners? Is it because of his warmly familiar resemblance to actor Adam Driver? Is it simply due to his admirable passion for his craft? Perhaps Parker's star appeal comes down to all of those things combined. The hard-working lanky miner shines as bright as a hefty nugget of Alaskan gold. When it comes to gold digging, while it's not exactly clear where Parker currently resides, he's a Hens, Alaska, native. Parker was raised in a world dripping in gold. Of course, that precious gold came with the less glamorous mountains of dirt and construction vehicles. As mentioned by Discovery Go, Parker always looked up to his grandfather John Schnabel, who ran the family gold mine, Big Nugget, located in Porcupine Creek, Alaska. Let's disregard the legalities of this, but Parker has been learning the ins and outs of what it takes to run a mine and operate dangerous mining machinery since he was an eager tot. At just 16, Parker took over the mining business for his beloved grandfather, who passed away at 96 years old in 2016, proving to the Big Nugget miners he's got what it takes to lead a team. Luckily we had a lot of good years with him and I've tried my best to keep things positive and know that. So that's good, Parker told people after his grandfather's death. He wasn't very involved in the mine site anymore. He was more of a figurehead than anything. It was more of a personal thing than it was a business problem, he continued. Though Parker's family poured their hearts and souls into the mining business, they still value traditional education. Parker was set up with a generous college fund, which opened a world of opportunities for the teen, opportunities many high school grades and privileged enough to receive. But Parker's heart couldn't bear to leave the industry he grew up adoring. Parker took his fruitful college fund and started his own mining operation in season 4 of Gold Rush. And considering Parker often runs more than one gold mining operation these days, it's no wonder his net worth is approximately $8 million to $10 million. Rumors circulated online a while back that Parker Schnabel had supposedly bought a luxurious house. Don't believe everything you read on the internet, folks. Back in 2018, rumored spread that Parker purchased an extravagant mansion, causing him to reply to a questioning tweet and settle the buzz once and for all.